Muscle Car and Corvette National Show kicks off in Rosemont on Saturday. In today's Midday Fix, we're getting a peek at what's in store. I'm joined with Stefano uh, Bimby, owner and CEO of Nikki Performance and Engineering in St. Charles, and co-owner and wife, Beth. Beth, now you got him in the cars, right? Or, 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 it's kind of a mutual love, yes. Because <laughs> every, every car owner, the guy always wonders, how do I get her into this thing and not let her know how much it costs? Well, I pretended I was in it in the beginning, and then I just really got into it. So. <laughs> All right, so we got some cool stuff yeah. here. Just just kind of a taste of what's going to be uh, this weekend up in Rosemont. What do we have first? This is you. Yes, this is a 2016 uh, Camaro convertible. Um, it's Mickey convertible number one. We put a Magnuson supercharger in it. Uh, we've done an E85 fuel, and then we also have some headers on it. So it sounds pretty good when you start it. <laughs> and this is, this is your baby, this right? This is my baby, yeah. yeah. I, I picked the color, and I, want, I like my convertible, so I had to have a convertible. Oh, wow, that is very nice. So, uh, is that what you're going to be? I know Camaros and Shelbys are probably going to be big again. It's, it's focusing on Fords this year, so it's going to be a lot of Cobras, a lot of Shelbys, and so forth at the show. Okay, very, very nice. I'm already jealous. I'm yeah. already je First off, I'm jealous that you got a wife who's in the cars as much as you. What else can we expect this upcoming weekend at Rosemont? It's just going to be insane. I mean, any type of rare muscle car mm -hmm. that you've always wanted to see up close and personal is going to be at this show. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mopars, Fords, uh, uh, Chevys, Buicks, Pontiacs, Oldsmobiles, I mean, everything. We are focusing, though, on the Fords, the Shelbys, the Cobras, GT40s. We've got a special conglomeration of those cars. Oh, beautiful. And it's the right time of the year where everyone has to put it away. Let's talk about this here. For, what, 440 Magnum, this one. Explain this to me here. Th this is a very special car. This is a, a technically a homologation special. It's a Daytona mm -hmm. uh, made for NASCAR, a homologation the cars for NASCAR, and the 440 is the cubic inch size, mm -hmm. and the Magnum is the powerful version of the 440. So this, uh, we, we call this a winged warrior car, and uh, you'll see other let's, winged... Let's take a look at... I've never... I might have seen something like this, but this is something spectacular to drive around in. Yeah, these are part of the aerodynamics that allowed this car in NASCAR to be the first car ever to lap Talladega at over 200 miles an hour average lap time. Really? And eventually NASCAR said, get that thing out of here, it's too fast. They outlawed them. They outlawed all the wing cars. Oh, I love All it. the aero cars. Well, I'll tell you what, here at GN, we're, especially in the weather department, we're all about fast cars and tough guys. Another one with me here, Mike Jansen. Mike's going to take it away with something else. Well, thank you, Demetrius. Here with Lenny Grimsley. And uh, Lenny, you're going to be at the show this weekend, and you've got your labor of to show off. Tell us a little bit about the Cuda. Sure. This is a 1970 Barracuda Cuda 440 six pack. Uh, lemon twist yellow with a shaker hood. Uh, all very cool, unique options to the Mopar. Uh, and it is a labor of love, like you said. My dad and I have been in cars for since I was a kid, and uh, we like to find projects and work on them, put them together. And, and like I said, it is a labor of love. This is what we've, we've ended up with. Some folks, maybe their their dad and themselves, maybe they'd uh, put together bunk beds or something like that, some woodworking. This is not woodworking. I mean, two years of doing this, what are all the, some of the, some of the in, intricate details that you have to pour over to get everything to make this a museum quality car? Well, finding the right parts is always a challenge. Uh, you know, the correct numbers. Um, the, the fun is uh, working with my dad together. We, you know, put the parts on, and if they don't fit just right, you've got to, you know, manipulate them and, and uh, put them together and, and spending time. And, and like you said, the two years, you know, that, that's what it was. And uh, when you get done, you get to see the fruits of your labor. All that work, and you are willing for the right price to sell it. Why? Yeah. Well, this, uh, this car was part of the, uh, at the show last year, the by far the best, best show uh, in the land, um, the Corvette Nationals, and what we were on the uh, the 70 um, Invitational last year, and uh, got a lot of interest, and it's it's uh, it's a beautiful car, and we're kind of thinking about another project, and this one might be available uh, at the show this weekend. But somebody's gonna have to give you the right price. You're not just gonna give it for the for the right number, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And hey, it's the Corvette show, right? So uh, we're gonna talk about a Corvette here that belongs to our own Mike J. In your labor of love here. My, yeah, but nowhere close to, no, nowhere nowhere near what we have going on here. And actually, Stefano and I were talking about this um, in between the segments here. You know a little bit about just the color scheme itself. The, the Steel City's great. 
from your background, very unique and rare color combination, and the 454 big block in the steel bumper car, that makes it a very rare and unique car. And you would see cars like this at our show. They're not, you'll see some museum quality, pristine, best of the best cars, but we also like to feature unique cars like this that you don't just see everywhere. Somebody that wants to take maybe my car or even like Demetrius's uh, Firebird over here, if they were trying to make it into that. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about here? Not numbers wise, but but just like that labor level. We're talking months, years, a lot of time. Depends on how fast and how hard you work. But you coming to the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, you can learn how to do that efficiently, and you can meet the vendors and the people to help you accomplish that goal. Oh, okay. And obviously, Demetrius would like to put the windows down and take off right now. I got a little bit. I got a little. Yeah. Hey, in the weather department, we are talking. When we're not lifting weights, we're driving fast muscle cars. Uh, so the Firebird. Yeah. You know, this is. I love to drive it. It's. Uh, it's just a cool car to me. It's uh, nowhere near museum quality or anything like that. But you're saying that even a car like this is starting to gain popularity now. We have competition classes for cars like this, you know, that are street driven. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even, even though it is a, a Concours event and you get the chance to see the best of the best, you get to see some cars that people drive, you know, because that's what fun are they if all we can do is look at. Right. And that's what I love. You guys have things for kids and just for families to come on out this upcoming weekend. Scavenger event for kids, uh, model contest where kids make a model, get to take it home. Mm -hmm. uh, scavenger event is very, very uh, fun event. But any, any 12 or under, uh, come in for free. Yeah. So, when, the door, when the doors open? 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, go to 9 p.m. And then once again on 9 a.m. on Sunday, it goes to 5 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. As he knows, the weather's going to be nasty enough to be inside. Be cool inside. Cool all right, so idea. we're all going to put our titles together and then just kind of mix them up and we all just switch them out. We all just pick one. How does that sound? That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> all, right. all right, again, the show is this Saturday and Sunday at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont. For more information, visit mcacn.com and for a link in case you missed anything or maybe want to buy one of these cars uh, go to our website wgntv.com slash midday back to you